Hi everyone, welcome to my Stats 1 OCR June 2012 past paper. We are going to look at question 8. If you read the first part, it says a random variable x has a distribution b30 0.6. That means that it's a binomial distribution and we are doing n equals 30 trials and um, our probability for a success in each trial is 0.6. We want to know the probability of getting 16 or more successes. Now immediately you should be thinking about the tables in your formula book which are the cumulative binomial probability tables. Now I've pasted one in here so if we have a look at what we've got I've gone to a page where n is 30 so everything on this whole page is to do with a binomial distribution with 30 trials. Now, we're shown on the table the different probability options that I'm showing you at the top. Now, if your exam question is asking you to do it from a table, it's going to have to be one of these probabilities. And you will notice that 0.6 is as shown there. Now we wanted to know the probability of greater than or equal to 16. Now what this table does is it goes along, it adds up the probability of no successes in the first one, and then 0 or 1 in the second, 0, 1, 2 in the third, etc. So it's cumulative, you're adding up as you're going along. So if we want to know in the column of 0 0.6 of 16 or more, we actually want to know all the probabilities from 16 up to 30 successes all added together. Now remember what I said, we add up as we go down the table. So this bit I'm showing you in blue, the final part here has added up all the way up to 15. Okay, and that's 0.1754. Now if we want the purple stuff, remember all probabilities add up to 1. So by the time we've added all these up, we're going to have a probability of 1, certain. Okay. Now if you notice that these are all 1, just a side matter, that's because rounding has taken place. The true one is the final value. So to get P of X being greater than or equal to 16, we do 1 minus 0.1754 and we get our answer of 0.8246. It's given to four significant figures in your table. So that's the answer for two marks. You need to know how to use these tables. Looking back at our question and moving on to part two, we've got a random variable y, which has a binomial distribution for 0.7. That means that we're doing four trials and the probability of a success is 0.7. The first part, part A asks us, what's the probability that y equals two? So you get two successes effectively. Well, if you've got two successes, that's going to be your success probability squared. And obviously we're doing four trials, so that means you must have had two failures. Now we need to think about the different ways we could do this. We've got PPQQ. And we need to think how many different ways that can be ordered. The way you can do that is by doing 4 choose 2. Okay, so 4c2 times by p squared, and p is 0 0.7, so it's going to be 0 0.7 squared, times by q squared, and q is going to be 0 0.3. And you put that into your calculator to get the final answer of 
four six. Okay. So the reason we've times by this is because you could have say p q p q or obviously four choose two different ways to do that. Part B is a bit more tricky. It says that the values of y are chosen at random. Find the probability that their total is 10, and we're choosing three values of y. So first value of y, second value of y, third value of y. And remember, y, if it's going up to 4, can take the values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now you have to use your head and think, what combinations of those can we use to add up to 10 with just 3? So immediately, you might see 4, 4, 2. And with a bit of thought, you might see 3, 3, 4. They both total 10. OK? There's no other ways to pick three numbers out of here and make 10. Only these two ways. So we need to think about the probability of each of these happening. So the probability of getting 4, a 4, and a 2 is going to be the probability that y equals 4 times the probability that y equals 4 times the probability that y equals 2. Okay. Now, if you think 4, 4, 2 could be 4, 2, 4, or even 2, 4, 2. It's 2, 4, 4, sorry. So that means that we've got to times that amount by 3 to get the total probability. Okay? So it's 3 times that. Same for this one. We can arrange those numbers three different ways, three factorial, okay, or three choose one, whichever way you want to think about it. So the probabilities that we're multiplying, in this case, are the probability that y equals three times the probability that y equals three times the probability that y equals four. So we actually want to work out these probabilities to get our answer. Okay. And if you look in the question, we've already figured out the probability that y equals 2. We know that one. So let's just write it down again to remind ourselves. So just scroll down. Probability that y equals 2 is 0.2401. We don't care about the probability at y equals 0 or 1 because we don't have to use them. The probability at y equals 3, we're going to get by doing 4, choose 3, times by 3 successors, 0.7 cubed, times by 1 fail failure, 0.3. And when we put that in our calculator, we are going to get 0.4116. We also want the probability that y equals 4. So we have 4 choose 4, which is just going to be 1, and 4 successes. Basically 0.7 to the power of 4, which is 0.2401. We now substitute these values into the formulas that we came up with, which you can see here and here. So the probability of getting a 4, 4 and a 2 in any order, 0 0.2401 times 0 0.2401 times 0 0.2646 and remember times in by 3, which gives us 0 0.04. 576. We can do the same thing. Probability that we get a 3, 3 and a 4, multiplying 
what we said here with the values for the probability of y equals 3 and the probability that y equals 4. And if you put that into your calculator, you get 0 0.1220. Now the question says that we've just got to add up to 10 anyway. So we can get that or that. When we're talking about or in statistics and probability, we're going to be adding. It is getting more likely. Okay? So it's really or there, which means we add. When we add those two probabilities, probability that they add up to 10, this is one way you could write it, equals 0.04576, add 0 0.1220, which gives you 0 0.1678. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've followed what's going on. If not, just ask a question in the comments section, and I'll try and answer.